Hi, I'm Drew Ebanks, and this is our brand new camp series. First up, it's Tristan Thompson, who's coming off a stellar playoffs for the Cleveland Cavs, but this time he gives back to the kids at his second annual basketball camp. Uh, it's been phenomenal. You know, the kids are working hard. Uh, you know, uh, David Joseph, you know, Corey Joseph's father is, is uh, you know, he's running this camp and he's done a great job, you know, teaching fundamentals and, uh, you know, just building good habits to, you know, to the you know, next generation. I just appreciate them, you know, work hard. Work hard and try to take something out of each day of camp. If it's whether it's, you know, pivot work, ball handling, or, or setting a good screen, you know, if they can take, you know, one positive thing that they can bring back to their community, uh, you know, the, the camp's a success. Well, for us, it's all about, you know, developing our youth and basically growing the sport of basketball in the Toronto area and uh, helping build the foundation. With gr basketball growing now in terms of the grassroots, with all the notoriety that we're getting now being uh, at the forefront in terms of Canada, um, it's good to be a part of it and basically establishing that core uh, and developing the players the right way. The first thing we tell them, first and foremost, is like basically education, education, education. Like we're trying to get them to do their schoolwork. You know, this is the age where it's really important to really teach them about education. And we tell them like, you know, without the education, the basketball means nothing. You know, and then, then the basketball part of it, we talk about the hard work. You know, I mean, I, they see a lot of kids from Toronto making the pros now, but nobody sees the hard work that they put in to get where they're getting to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think it's our duty to, you know, go back to our, our, our communities and our hometown and, and, and put our foot and, and, and our will on, on the next generation. You know, for me growing up as a kid, uh, I wish I had the opportunity to be able to, you know, go to a pro athletes camp and kind of just pick his brain and just see, you know, what it takes to get to that level. So, you know, I think I think what, what helps these camps grow is just the, the popularity of the game is, is growing in our city and in our country. As the games grow and, and you know, you got to give a lot of credit to, you know, the Raptors and their success to help this game grow in our city and it's kind of trickled down back to the pro athletes that may not play for the Raptors but still are Canadian. It's which has kids, you know, wanting to play basketball and wanting to stay active. So, um, you know, it just shows a lot how our game's growing, and um, you know, it's 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 a great opportunity to be a part of. You know, it's definitely a, a big responsibility, and then, and I, I take it very seriously because I know, you know, these kids are looking up to me, whether it's on TV or on social media or you know whatever they hear or see. You know, they look up to me. They 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 want to have the opportunity to be you know, in, in the shoes that I'm in. So uh, whenever I, I approach the game or just conduct myself, I know that, you know, someone's watching or there is a little kid out there that says, you know, I want to be like him one day. So I got to set up, you know, uh, you know, good examples and, and a high standard. 